You're familiar with the tale of Skoll and Hottie, bringers of day and night. Oh yeah, the wolf giants. Aye. They were born of the archwolf Hrothwitnir, a great nemesis of the Aesir gods. Odin captured them as pups and kept them in the kennels of Asgard to hold his foe at bay. But when the sun and moon grew mutinous and stood still, Odin put Skoll and Hottie to use. With his ancient magics, he cast the wolves to the heavens, and they began their chase. And long shall they chase, but not endlessly. For it is foretold that someday Skoll and Hottie will catch and devour their prey. And that day shall be Ragnarok, the twilight of the gods. But Ragnarok is supposed to be Odin's doom, isn't it? Why would he set the wolves loose if it fulfills the prophecy? Precisely the question, lad. It's always about control. The wolves determine when Ragnarok begins, and now he controls the wolves. A battle fought on his timetable is a battle he better stands to win. Another time. A mystic's gentle breeze and the sweet smell of honeysuckle and blood. Well, judging by the sky, the light elves are in control of the light this time. Explain. You see, the light elves and dark elves... ...are always fighting over the light. That part we know. But did you also know that control of the light has changed hands no less than 213 times? Really? Hmm. Each side believes itself the rightful keepers of the light and argue they're simply fighting for survival. But the fact of the matter is, the war has been going on so long, they don't know who they are without it. Can you read it? Yes, sir. What does it say? It's about the eternal war for the light. Do you think it'll stop now after what we did? Unlikely. doesn't fall far. So, clear 
this up for me. Svartalfheim means land of the Dark Elves, right? Right. But you said the Dark Elves have been here now for a really long time. And anyway, aren't dwarves supposed to be from Svartalfheim? They don't look like Dark Elves. Don't you think so? Then you are vastly more perceptive than the Aesir. They're the ones who apparently can't tell the difference. And they're the ones who came up with that name. Dwarves actually call their home realm Nidavellir. So the Dark Elves aren't from Svartalfheim at all? Not even a bit. They're just elves of another colour. Nobody knows who came first, but they all come from Alfheim. Why do they fight all the time if they're really the same? That is adorable. Huh? It is the way of the world. Oh. Well, that's sad. Let me guess, there's a Valkyrie in here. Yep. Well, are we gonna fight her? There's a trapped spirit in there. Quiet, Head.
free. But why was I imprisoned? We think your queen did this to you. But why would Sigrun hinder our duty? That's the mystery we're trying to solve, milady. Can you think of any reason she would have to do this? No. Without the Valkyries, those who died in battle will not see Valhalla. Helheim will overflow with the souls of the departed and drown Midgard in a sea of vengeful corpses. No greater shame exists for a Valkyrie. I must go. Attempt to staunch the bleeding. Farewell. Odin. She imprisoned the Valkyries to defy him. Sigrun hated Odin, no doubt about that. But her duty, her responsibility. Would she really forsake these things to get back at Odin? Nah, I don't believe it. I do. Hate is stronger than duty. We have to find the queen. We have to stop her. I'm sorry, my man. Aye. Don't be sorry, lad. Sigrun brought this on herself. Only wish... Well, wishing only gets you so far. How will we find her? I'm afraid I don't know. She could be anywhere, in any realm. We'll find her. We have to. All of Midgard is counting on us.
Let's do it. Well, um, if you don't need it, don't buy it. <laughs> I always say not. I don't know what we're still doing. Yet. 